Sunim, guide me. Business of helping. Dear man, would you live under Edwin's boot? There's Fulke. Where you will be if these supplies richer. It's for the good of your Shia. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. Here's more than enough coin, friend. Boy, Jesus, you're a better customer than your needling partner. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. Best not to draw attention here.
What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach. The soldiers are close. That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid and never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulcain, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? How is that possible? You don't believe such a thing yourself, do you? Not elusive self-begotten light who reigns over all, but a lesser god. Imperfect, and given to temptation. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he is no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Folke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich, to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here. To pray for the souls of the dead before I join you.
Look, lads! There's Eivor! We're with you, Eivor! Those cattle won't See that our flexures of arrows are not... Gidrich. Eivor, have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defences. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defences. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one.
feel stronger already. A large bolt casters. I must disable them. Help me! I'm not doing well. Oh, life for that! down to Gidrich to lead his men.
say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight! You're a now. good man, Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. But with that... Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on, then. Your master awaits. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The Lord of Justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance read well. I'll return when I've destroyed enough of Eidmund's men and supplies. We'll be ready. Eivor, are you ready to begin the assault now? We're ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
inside. It's open. Take the castle. the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, 
I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds, dress her in rags, and send her out into the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone.
The markings of the Ancient Ones. The Isu. The gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I've passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once. A thousand times. A thousand. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seda, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred, come! King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can Please, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl. I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred. Wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke. You with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll cut you, troll woman! Hush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care.
Let's pass him. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. What have you got for me today? Ah, that one's pretty good. This will serve you well. Nothing else I can do for you? I will see you later, friend. Put that gear to good use out there. Wallace. Eivor, if you've a moment to spare... Granvi, our work is done in Oxenefordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. 
the same order Chotwe followed. The order that Basim and Haitham are pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chael Bet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Cheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Cheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupsha. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. Randri, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride. To Grand Bridge, or somewhere nearby, for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grand Bridge Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this. So why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. Ah, a new letter. We won't take the longship today. Eivor, this trip if you have is for a moment us. to spare... Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the Longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandabritshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. 